Don't you hate it when your smartphone goes <clears throat> when you're in the middle of something? And, and you go, I'm just going to ignore it. Oh. And, and, and you, you struggle because you're going, I can do this. I, I, I can beat this game. And, and you start, you know, going back to what you were doing, which was basically, you know, either doing your job or maybe writing a song or just doing something uncreative, maybe just sitting there binge watching. And it's like, oh, and, and you don't want to answer the phone. You don't, you don't want to go see if somebody's written you an email or if that's just Facebook sending out a little some message saying Johnny has replied to your message, blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh. And it gets inside you, and finally you pick up your phone, and it's just junk. It's an advertisement. Or it's Google saying, so, you visited this place. Can you give it a rating? <clears throat> Not going to happen. Not going to happen. How, how is it that we've allowed this little square box with digital little beep, 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 beeps inside control everything that we're doing? And, I mean, I can turn off my phone and have a peaceful day, but the second that that dang thing goes, <clears throat> it's like, oh, 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 or you have the little vibration on, it's like, it's like you know, you're, you're expecting the electric chair to go, and, and then all of a sudden, things are over. <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, it's Harold. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. And little things like a, uh, uh, really just, mm, mm. and you got to write about it. That's what's fun about being a daily writer. I, I bump into people all the time that say, well, I just don't know what I'm going to write about. Are you kidding me? In this day and way that we walk and sing and there's nothing to write about, it's all around us at all times. All you need to do, and it's I know it's going to be a challenge, and there's two challenges you're going to face. To allow yourself to write about something that might be driving you insane or just something you think is great. And then here's the thing. This is the toughest part. Putting it on paper means you've exposed a side of your soul that other people may find, and you're, you're going to fear that they're going to judge you. Pfft, whatever. Well, you're going to say it anyway, so you might as well put it on paper so you can have a great memory, or at least something that you can tap into on a day where you can get a giggle or a deeper thought. This is the daily mess. Those days when you wake up and you don't want to do anything but nothing. Yep, you don't want to do anything. You wake up and it's like, I don't feel like doing anything today. Socks are off, still in your pajamas. The house is toasty warm while the sun is starting to skate across the sky. And you want me to do what? Oh. The psychological effects of the COVID-19 quarantine are very evident two years deep into this process of replenishing our drive to succeed in a new normal. At any other time in history, waking up to do nothing would have been called laziness, self-serving, depression, or any other shape of negative vibration. But through personal experience, I wonder if our days in lockdown weren't actually a training ground for where we presently stand today. On a planet staring into the soul of what could be a global battle. By way of the lockdown, we have learned to meditate or find areas to rest our minds and hearts. And yes, we have emotions about Ukraine and Russia, but most approach each day with a cleared mind and heart. So I say, if you wake up, you don't have any socks on, the house is nice and warm, you're still in your jammies, maybe you're about ready to sip on some hot tea or coffee, bite into that bagel, and you just go, I just don't feel like doing it anything. I want to live in a moment of nothingness. My say is do it because you have trained yourself over the past two years to find that place of inner peace and doing nothing actually is feeding your mind, body, and soul. It's allowing the universe to move through you. Now, of course, being a daily writer, I would say pick up a writing instrument, just write what's going through you. And, and you know, people get stressed out over that kind of stuff. So it's just, I'm, I'm just suggesting that's it. Because it's amazing to come back to a page where you, you were there, but it wasn't you who wrote the message. It was something that moved through you that wrote the message. And all of a sudden you go, wait, 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 wait. There's something about this message that involves my day, that involves someone that I, I know. It involves them. And it's like, I would have never ever thought of this, but because you had a moment of nothingness and you allowed yourself to be in that place, it's like something said, bing, instead of, uh -uh. <laughs> those days when you wake up and you don't want to do anything but nothing, give yourself permission to do nothing. There's really a payoff. 
and you learned how to do it over the past two years. I think we were being trained to find nothing in a world where everything could be gone tomorrow. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mass.